Alright, well, welcome back, everybody, to Junk Shop Library's Improv Bible Study. Had to take a little bit of time off after that last one. Reconsider my choices. But we are back. I will not be dissuaded. Delayed, though not dissuaded. Today, we launch into Genesis chapter 20. Let's see what the good book has in store for us today. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, She is my sister, and she, even she herself, said he is my brother, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me, therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham, and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest thou that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister, she is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is thy kindness which thou shalt show unto me, at every place whither we come, Say of me, he is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and woman servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee. Dwell where it pleaseth thee. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. And that's Genesis chapter 20. Okay, so apparently we find out now that this was, uh, this was not just a pulled it out of his hat idea. The last time Abraham, back when he was Abram, told somebody that uh, his glorious 70-something year old wife was in fact his sister because he was afraid of getting killed for her sake. Apparently this was a running deal that they had. That he's so afraid of getting knocked off so that someone can knock up Sarai Sarah that uh, he's passing her off as his sister and then giving her away in marriage. Um, that apparently was just their deal. Uh, do what thou wilt. Um, And in this case, the Lord actually deigns to tell the poor guy who thought he was getting a wife that uh, he's gotten somebody else's wife and uh, he needs to go toot sweet and give her back because otherwise his kingdom will die because apparently the Lord's punishment for 
one person being given a wife under false pretenses. Yes, given a wife. Poor Abraham didn't even get recompense for uh, signing away his wife this time. Apparently what the Lord saw as just recompense for poor Abimelech getting messed over in this deal was to make all of the women in his kingdom barren and then come to him and say, give her back, for Abraham is a prophet. So Abimelech does and gives him a whole bunch of other stuff besides and a choice of place to pitch his tent. And that's all that happens in Genesis 20. You know, for all the repetition that we see in these stories, sometimes weird bits of information come in. Abimelech goes to Abraham and says, Here, I didn't know she was your wife. You told me she was your sister. And Abraham says, Well, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. And Abimelech says, Fine, fine. I'm not going to argue semantics with you. Take your wife. Take some more wives, take some servants, some oxen, some assen, some cattle. Go. 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 And I'm leaving you a bad review on Match.com. And then Abimelech goes over to Sarah and says, uh, By the way, I gave your, your husband, brother, brother, husband, uh, a thousand pieces of silver. And nobody's going to look twice at you. Trust me. We've, we've learned our lesson. And so Abraham says, well, thank you very much. Unclear as to whether Abraham knew about the thousand pieces of silver. Presumably Sarah knew about all the men servants, maid servants, and livestock. It would have been hard to miss. So Abraham says, fine. I'll pray. And he prays. And uh, God opens the wombs that he had fast closed up because of the sin of Abimelech. And Abraham goes on his merry way. There goes the neighborhood. I don't know that I've got much more here. Um, he's, he's just... I do, I do love this this throwaway that that this is just their arrangement that wherever whenever they move into a new area, they're just going to roll with this brother sister story because Abraham's a little paranoid. Um, I hope you've been enjoying uh, slogging through this mess with me. So far, we are going to keep going. We'll be back soon with Genesis chapter 21. Uh, as always, the rest of the playlist should be linked in this general area if you've missed any installments up to this point. And up here is yet another one of my happy smiling face where you can click to subscribe. Please do that. And hit your little thumbs up button. Thanks. <laughs> Y'all take care. Stay warm. Goodness gracious.